there's something that I've learned in the seven months that I've been here in Nigeria, and that is this wonderful expression that's all protocols observed. So I'm going to use that expression and not, not go through all the protocols that were already so well laid out. Um, I'm extremely excited to be here, not only to hear what we just heard, but also be, to participate in this very important event this morning. We've already heard that a country that does not have all of its women in the picture is not using 50% of its energy and ideas. And I think the same is true also for you, that a country that does not take full advantage of all the energy and ideas of its youth is also not taking advantage of an incredible source of, of the future. Benga, um, it's a simple question. I have something for everybody. What is your dream for Nigeria? A few days ago, someone tweeted what was supposed to be a patriotic thing uh, in his own hands. Uh, he saw military men attacking terrorists and he shared pictures of what he thought was victory on the part of the Nigerian state. It's been 12 days. He's not been found. I want to live in a country where, as a citizen, my activities would not be something that would be misinterpreted by even security agents as something that should get me into trouble. And even if I do something wrong, I should get fear here. I dream of a Nigeria where uh, we cultivate the habit of we before me. If we think of the collective first before we start to think of personal interest, I think this country will be a better place. Um, if I think of your interests, I think of your good, and she thinks of the same of me, like she thinks of the same of X, Y, Z, and it spreads like that, I think Nigeria will be a better place. They say every nation has the leadership it deserves. We deserve the Nigeria we have because we haven't done enough about it. We sit back and complain, but ignore the simplest and most basic of our responsibilities which is register to vote and actually show and vote for who you want to lead you. And then hold the people that we put in office accountable for the offices that we've given them. Rigging happens because we let it. When you don't register, when you don't show up, you give corrupt leaders the chance to steal your voice. We're 100 million strong. If enough of us just show up, we will decide who gets elected to office. And if that person messes up, we will decide whether they remain there or whether they get kicked out. We need to participate, we need to, be, we need to refuse to be used as tools for violence and other corrupt practices. We have to do it for our country, our families, our future generations, and most importantly, importantly right now, for ourselves. I stumbled across this uh, program on EIE's website. It says, if you think you are too small to make a difference, you have not spent a night with a mosquito. In this case, we are 100 million mosquitoes strong. Seventy percent of our population, or seventy-five percent of our population, below the age of thirty-five. That gives us about one hundred and four million Nigerian young Nigerians. So, if that demographic is fully aware of what their rights are, what their responsibilities are as citizens, and are able to make demands based on that, we think we can change the the dynamics and the way the governors and the governed interact in Nigeria. We don't need the whole population in Nigeria to change. We just need a critical mass. We need enough minds to be able to turn this nation around. The hope is that we can be, this, my generation of, of young people can be part of the group that sparks the change. And I am very optimistic that in a few years down the line, I'm not sure how soon, but I'm very, very optimistic that it is going to happen. Nigeria is going to change for the better. We need to let politicians know what it is that we want. And there is nothing, no better way of doing it than through coming together through you know, music, jingles, skits, whatever it takes. 
and it should be in a peaceful manner. Nonviolent is what we should be looking at. Political participation is important. And social media, which is out there, nobody uses social media as much as young people do. Use it to your advantage. But working just by yourself is not enough. Be it in your communities, be at, be it at church, be it at school. You know, do what you're supposed to do. Conduct, you know, pursue your studies. Don't be distracted, but allow some time to also think this is a great opportunity coming up in Nigeria. Young people, collectively, together, we need to make an impact. We go heal the government of the day. We go say them to try. This one are my prayer. This one are my wish. This one are the dream of every Nigerian. Hopefully one day Nigeria will be the Nigeria of our dreams. And we are desperately waiting for that day.